Welcome to the Learn to Sew Academy channel. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you. Welcome. In this video, we're going to be making this dress that you see right here. This is going to be a eye low dress. And what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to use a different fabric over here for the top. And I'm going to use a plain fabric right here. And then at the bottom of this eye low skirt, I'm going to have um, some strips of fabric that are just going to go around like a buyer's tape. So I'm going to be making the bias tape from the fabric I use here and that's going to go around this. So this will be slightly flare. It's not going to be a full round circle. For this particular dress, we're going to be needing the shoulder. We need to know the bust. We're going to need to know the um, from the shoulder to the under bust area. We're going to also need to know the circumference around that area. We'll also need to have a full length of the dress both for the front and the back we want to know how long we want this to be and of course we're going to need to know the sleeve length as well as the sleeve circumference i'm going to be using this fabric for the upper part of the dress and i'll be using this one for the lower part of the eyelid dress i'm gonna fold it this way So now I'm going to make this right here my center. So this blue will be my center. So I'm going to now fold this again like that. But as I fold it, I'm going to leave my zipper allowance. I'm going to leave some space for the zipper allowance. And right here I'm leaving about one one quarter for my zip allowance now i'm gonna now cut out the upper part of the dress so i'm gonna cut that out of this so what i have for that that is from the shoulder to the under bust i'm going to use 16 inches and then i'm gonna add my allowances at the top i'm going to add half an inch at the bottom where i'm going to be joining it to the other part of the of the dress i'm going to add another half an inch so that will give me additional one inch plus my 16 that will give me 17 inches so i'm going to measure our 17 inches out of this but again i'm just making sure that what i have is enough i need um 11 inches and right here i have just a tiny bit over 12 inches so i'll use that And I'm just going to draw the line and I'll cut this. So to start measuring, we're going to measure the shoulder. The shoulder we're using here is going to be um, 16 inches. And when we start to measure, we're going to start measuring from the center. This right here will be our center front. And where we have it open right here will be the center back. You can also have this tucked in like this. And this is right on top of it as such they are still the same if you have it extended you just leave that part out for your zipper so i'm going to measure my 16 inches now because when you measure for your shoulder you go from the shoulder uh, blade to the other shoulder blade so we're just doing 16 divided by 2 and when you divide by 2 you now had your allowance i'm going to have half an inch allowance so that gives me eight and a half and then I'm going to just come down to measure for my um, bust area. So I'm going to use 9 here. And this is just helping me to see where I'm going to start to measure for my bust area. And this is where I'm also going to cough out the um, O. Oh. So I need um, 11 inches for my bust because I'm going to be doing 44 divided by four which will give me 11 and then i'm adding an additional one inch for my allowance so right here i'm looking at a 12. then right at the bottom here my circumference right around the under bust area the circumference i'm using is going to be 
40, uh, 40. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide 40 by 4. I'm going to add one more inch to that. That will give me 11. And then what I'm going to do now is to connect those two lines from here to the bust area. That's from the under bust to the bust area. And what I'm going to do now is to do my armhole. So I'm just going to connect this from here to where I have the armhole mat. I have a video on how to cut armholes. Please check that. I'm going to leave the link in this video. That will give you a very detailed explanation on how to do armhole. Now I've done this. You can also use a French cuff if you've not mastered how to use your free hand so smoothly. You can just take a French cuff and use it to measure it. But as you can see, this is about the same. So now I'm going to do the neckline. So for the neckline, I'm just going to do four inches this way and then I'm gonna do three inches this way but as you can see from the diagram that I showed you earlier we're going to have then a little over here so this is what we have right here for the front for the back I'm just going to do like one and a half here at the back and then for this one now, I just need to curve it a little. Depending on the length I need, I'm going to do like two inches here. So when you do this, remember that you're going to also sew it. So by the time you sew it, it's going to come down a little bit more. So put that into consideration when you're making this. And for how you want to curve it, you can do it depending on how uh, much gap you want in between. You can do... Um, three quarter you can do one inch but again remember that you're going to be sewing it and when you sew it is going to open some more so make sure you put that into consideration and it's better for you to have it too little than to have it too big if you have it too little you can always adjust it but if you have it too big then it will be more of a problem adjusting so what i'm going to do here is i've drafted this now i'm now going to slant the shoulder area i just need to put a slope there you can do between half to one inch for your slope and now i'm gonna cut this okay when you want to do this you remember that you do the front you cut the front and the back separately i already clipped this a little so that i know where that starts from and so what we're going to do is we're going to cut the back and then I'm going to cut the front and again remember I have my slight V right there so I'm just going to follow the markings that's all you just do and that completes this part I'm just going to put a notch on the center and then for the bottom part, we're going to have what looks like a little band right over here. I'm doing about three inches. So when I do the three inches, it's going to be four inches that I'm folding all together because I'm going to be joining it at the top and at the bottom by an extra one inch. So at the top, I'll have half an inch. At the bottom, I'll have half an inch. So I'm just going to do four inches. So by the time I'm done sewing, I hope to have three inches. You can just measure it and you can also use what you have here already. I'm just going to cut that. This is what the front looks like. Okay, I'm just going to cut all of this and... I'll use um I'll shape it out when I'm doing my sewing. So again I need this four inches. Now cut this into two and then now I make the lower part of the dress. Now to make this 
lower part of the dress the skirt part of the dress i'm gonna need it to match what i have over here since it's going to be joining to my band that we have right under the under bust and we know that was 40 so we're going to need 10 inches and then we're also going to be adding our sewing allowance so what i'm going to do first is to cut the front part of it and what i'm going to be doing because i want to do a eye low um, dress and i want it to flow uniformly from the back so when i start to cut this i'm going to cut the side a little longer the side is going to be as long as what i i'm going to have for the length of the back so that way the side and the back will all just flow together and then the middle will be the center right here will be the length that i need for the front so for this um particular dress the front is going to be 43 inches and already we took out this upper part that was 16 inches long plus this three inches here that means that we took out nine inches already so when we say 43 less than nine inches we're going to be left with 24. so in the center here we need 24 plus our allowances at the bottom for aiming and at the top for joining it to the other part of the dress so as we start to cut this we want to put that into consideration so all together i'm going to be needing 24 plus i'm gonna have one and a half so 24 plus one and a half and that is going to give me 25 and a half for the center and then for the side the back is going to be 47 inches long when we take away um 16 plus our three which is 19 inches we are going to be left with um 28 inches so this side is going to be 28 inches long plus my one and a half i'm going to be doing 29 and a half for the side as i fold this i'm folding it to form like a triangle and i'm not going to be making it a complete circle like i said earlier it's just going to have a little flare. if you wanted it to have more flare, you just have to pull this in and make your triangle more steep if you want less you just pull it back but just make sure as you're cutting that you are forming like a cone shape like a triangle i'm just going to measure my 29 and a half which is right here so it starts from here and i'm gonna look for my 10 okay plus my extra like i said i'm going to need um 11 one inch extra for my seam allowance i have 11 and a half i'll just bring it in a little bit and i'm gonna cough it a little so i have 11 now I'm just confirming that I still have my 29 inches over there and I'm gonna just make a little cuff here so that when I'm joining this to have that cuff some people may decide to just make a straight line I just like to do a little cuff so my 29 inches is all the way down there and then my middle is going to be the 24 inches for the front plus my one and a half inches for my sewing allowances so that all together will be 25 and a half so i'm going to connect these 25 inches that i have here i'm going to connect it to my 29 inches over here and i'm just going to give it a little cuff and then we're going to cut that. So what you do for the back is you use the front as a template. You fold the back about the same way you folded the front. The only difference is that we're going to have some extra at the back here 
for our zip allowance so we're going to open this up and make two pieces at the back but as you fold this you want to make sure before you cut it that you have enough for the back remember this is an eye low dress so the back is going to be longer so i need um total of 47 for the back and remember again we have taken out um 16 plus the three inches band that's 19 so all together we need 28 inches for the back plus one and a half for my seam allowance so that is going to be 29 and a half and that is just going to be exactly the same thing that we had for the side so i just want to make sure i have enough before i start to mark this so i do have enough so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to trace this upper part of the of the skirt part of this dress so that's what i'm doing here i'm just tracing that and then now i'm going to start to measure 29 and a half which is what i need so i'm going to measure that all across starting from the top here where i have marked my fabric so 29 and a half is what i'm just marking all across now and again it just ties to the side of the front and i'm gonna take this out of the way connect my dots and then i'll cut this And because we have a zipper at the back, we need to cut this into two. I'm just going to put an arrow point in this way to help me to know that that's the side for my zipper. And if you decide to put a lining, all you just do is to cut exactly the same thing you have here for the front and the back and for the upper part as well as the bottom of the skirt next we're going to cut the sleeves and to do that we'll first fold our fabric into two and then we'll fold again so that we have four layers of fabric this is because i'm going to be cutting the two sleeves at the same time but as we do this we want to consider our sleeve round so that we know that what we are folding here is enough for us so i first fold that into two and then i folded it again to give me four layers of fabric here and for this project i'm using a sleeve length of eight and i'm going to add an extra half an inch at the top one and a half at the bottom for turning it in that's two extra inches so all together i'm going to be cutting 10 inches from this I do have a very detailed video on how to cut sleeves so please check the description and you'll see a link to that video I'm connecting my lines and next I'm just going to cut this out now we know that the sleeve round is seven and a half plus one extra for my sewing allowance so i have it and a half and for your sewing allowance you can use between half to one inch depending on individual preference and now we also need to know what the armhole is and we can check that from the top that we already cut right here i have ten and a half but you know when i sew this i'm gonna sew at the top i'm gonna sew right here too so i have to put that into consideration as i cut this so what i'm gonna do is we had ten and a half so that's gonna be approximately like ten so i want to measure around that ten inches here and this is what i'm going to be joining down here and remember too that we'll need to always add our allowances okay so i'm going to extend this to 11. so what i'm doing is i'm just joining it all the way over here i 
and then you just want to make what's going to look like an inverted S like I would normally say and please again check my video on how to make sleeves you will see a very detailed instruction over there so now I just cut this out and we just turn notch it right here in the middle and that completes the cutting of this dress so if you have found this helpful please remember to leave this video a thumbs up and please if you've not yet subscribed do so right away by clicking on the subscribe button below and i hope to see you in my next video thank you bye